Hello Scarpers, let me show you what I buy on eBay. This came from UK, you see Royal Mail, uh, and uh, I think I bought CPUs, but let's see together what is inside. Here we go, it's a nice small box. It says made in China. I hope it, these CPUs are not made in China. Uh, so that's quickly cut this tape. Sometimes when people pack these boxes, they pack them like uh, uh, there is something extremely valuable inside. And in this case it is. Look at these chips. Huh? These NLCCs for sure have a lot of palladium, these are old style, and this is gold on the chips. So I have two of these. Maybe really nice. And this is 386. This is a really nice CPU. Okay, so it's not that bad. I was thinking there may be some trash or something inside that is just fake. Ah, this is Motorola chip, is it? Let me look at it. No, it's not Motorola, but it's a really nice small chip. What a nice processor. And this is probably another 386. I have to clean them. <laughs> you see, this, this is part of one of the CPUs. Another, a little bit bigger one. And these are standard, these are AMDs, and this is standard AMD ceramic ones. We have some of these uh, green fiber and brown fiber, and one more of these ceramic ones, one Pentium, and here is another beauty Intel 386. Wow, and probably this gold cap is from this CPU that is broken. So I'll put these pieces here. I'm not sure I can reconstruct this one, uh, but let's, let's see. And what else? These are probably memory, small memory chips. So let me put this here. These are small memory chips. Four, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Really nice. So far so good. I'm happy with this shipment. Pentium 4. This is one of these big ones. Some of these are collectibles. There are some really rare, rare ones. So always check them on the internet. Maybe the cost of this CPU is higher than of the gold content and some more brown ones, and some more green ones. Wow, that's everything. Okay, let's sort them. Another brown AMD, and a green AMD. Haha, -ha, look at this. I've never seen such a chip. Maybe I have to clean it up a little, but on top I see MLCCs and some strange electronic elements. But look at this one, I'll just put it like this, ah, another AMD, and two more green, and another AMD, and more, ah, look at this green one, it has, this is Atom AMD, let's put it here, and one more Intel, and this is the Intel Pentium, it's the second one, AMD, Wow, that's a good one. Look at this IBM 686 200 megahertz. That's a beautiful chip. 0 0.2, 0 0.25 grams of gold here. Really nice chip. Uh, where to put it? <laughs> I want to put it somewhere on top. Let's put it here in the middle. And there are two more green ones. So guys, I'm really happy with this. I got at least uh, 
7-8 high yield chips and CPUs like this. I also have one about one gram of gold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are ten. These ten are probably 0.8 grams of uh, grams of gold. And I will add the brown ones and the green ones to the I'm stockpiling them to my pile of CPUs. Let me show you what I do with these guys. So I have this box and I'm just adding and adding and adding. So they go to one of these boxes and I will start processing them. When I accumulate something like 50 of each type, then I will process them. But this is really interesting. I've never seen such before. Let me try to clean up a little bit this on top no there is nothing under it nothing is written there it's cleaned a little bit more this is the thermal i don't want to uh, cut these capacitors and remove them because uh, I'll probably keep this one for my collection. I'll not destroy it. In general, I don't like destroying ceramic CPUs. And maybe this one's only I use for gold recovery or if someone is broken. But otherwise, really interesting. Look at this. And this one, everyone, in, every, everyone knows about this one. 75 megahertz. Two pole. This is the... This is the bus probably because it says 200 megahertz CPU and also uh, I really like this 386, They're really good chips also for gold recovery. So guys, I'm really happy with this shipment and let me just quickly show you something else that I received from Germany, didn't keep the package, but I spent 50 cents each of these EEPROMs and they came in original package. So look at this. Look at these EEPROMs, 50 cents each. I, I, I just can't destroy them. I mean, I'm ready to sell them. I'm ready to put them in my collection, but I will not, I will not destroy them, definitely. And there's so many. <laughs> okay, so that's what I buy on eBay. Long time ago, it was easy. There were many, gold price was low and it was cheap and nice to buy them. Now it's not that easy and prices are not that low, but still it's always it's a always, uh, good purchase when you find them on a reasonable price. Thanks for watching, keep scrapping and keep collecting. Bye.